Open to 22.04, codename Jemmy Jellyfish is a long-term support release. It comes with new installer, firmware update application, improved support for Raspberry Pi, new application versions, and newer Linux kernel. But that's not the focus of this video. This video focuses on visual features, the changes that you can see. 22.04 has the latest GNOME version 42 and hence brings several visual changes from this GNOME release. Hi, I'm Abhishek from itswas.com and in this video, I'll show you such visual changes in Ubuntu 22.04. Some are minor while some are unprecedented. Intrigued? Let's begin. Ubuntu has always favored orange and aubergine colors for its entire existence. But this is changing with 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish release. Orange is still the default, but now you can choose to have a different accent color from the available 10 options. What does it change? Well, the folder colors, notifications, text highlight, and some supported application icons like the software center, etc. When you change the accent color, it takes a second of pause for the changes to take into effect. So it's not entirely smooth, but that's not a big deal in my opinion, because you get to choose your color. You can now control mounted drives and trash behavior in the dock. Earlier you needed GNOME tweaks or some other applications, but now the settings enables you to control these behavior of mounted drives and trash icon right in the settings appearance area. You can choose to show the mounted disk in the launcher or hide them as per your preference. The same goes for the trash icon. Another small change and it is about the position of the new desktop icons. By default, it is now in the bottom right corner. So if you create new folders or documents on the desktop, it gets created at the position you had selected. But when you arrange the icons, they get placed in the bottom right. Or you can change their position to top right, bottom left or top left. Another small change. Ubuntu 22.04 now provides the option to toggle animations in the accessibility settings. What does it change? Well, by default, the animation is enabled and though you might not have noticed, when you minimize or maximize application windows, go to activity overview area, there's a slight animation effect to make the UI more fluid. Never noticed it? Well, it's okay. You can disable it to see the impact. Disabling the animation could give you a tiny performance improvement. But it's mainly for the people who have difficulties with such animation effects. And hence, it is under the accessibility settings. No need to use GNOME Tweaks tool to access the multitasking settings in the new 22.04 LTS version. The new multitasking settings allow you to enable hot corners. With that, when you move the cursor to the top left corner, it brings the activities area. Otherwise, you have to go to the left corner and click the activities option. You can also disable the screen edge effect from the multitasking settings. I prefer to have this setting active because it is very helpful when you are multitasking. Keep a PDF or website open in half of the screen and keep the ID or the terminal open in the other half. Perfect for working. There is also option to control the number of workspaces. And if you have multi-monitor setup, you can choose whether the workspaces will be displayed on all monitors or just the primary one. Workspace is basically this activity overview area that shows all the running applications. Similarly, you can control the application switching aspect as well. If you want, you can show running applications from all the workplaces or just the current one. Same goes for monitors as well. The screenshot tool has been revamped in Ubuntu 22.04 Jemmy Jellyfish. There is a new user interface and it allows you to choose between selected area, 
entire screen or an opened application window. One major change here is the inclusion of the screencast option, which means that you can now video record the screen. The screenshot gets automatically copied to the clipboard as well as it is saved on the disk. You get notification right after you take the screenshot. The screenshots are now saved under a dedicated screenshots directory in pictures. Earlier they used to be saved in directly in the pictures directory and thus cluttering the entire pictures directory. Same goes for screenshot videos. They too have a dedicated directory under videos for saving the recorded videos. And this one is a big change. You are familiar with this launcher or dock that comes with Ubuntu, right? This is different from the vanilla GNOME launcher. However, version 22.04 allows to change the look of this launcher. So in the settings appearance area, disable the panel mode and the dock shrinks like it is in vanilla GNOME. This mode doesn't look good when you have applications opened in maximize mode. So to improve upon this, you should combine it with the auto hide feature. With that, now when you go full screen, the dock disappears and you get the full view as intended. And lastly, Ubuntu Software Center, oh, I mean Snap Store has been slightly revamped as well. The text are larger and so is the icons of the categories. At the time of making the video, every application is in snap format. I have read that they might include dev packages later on, but for the moment, all you see is snap everywhere, everywhere. In the new version, the license information of the applications have also been removed. So there are more changes. You have a new installer, you have more setting options for multi-monitor setup, new applications versions, kernel, wallpapers, and a brand new logo, which is incorporated in Ubuntu 22.04. But more on that in some other video. For now, you tell me what's your biggest hit or miss in the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS release. Does it excite you or disappoint? comment section is all yours and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here do subscribe for more ubuntu and linux content see you in the next one